Welcome YouTube, this is Acid Roots. I've got an album review, which is Saliva's Cinco Diablo. Now this release finds uh, Saliva doing some of their old new metal stuff, but also mixing it with Post Grunge, which is kind of similar to their 2002 album, Back Into Your System. Now really, I haven't reviewed Saliva since I reviewed uh, every six seconds around this time last year. But, you know, I wanted to check back in with them just because I have been listening to them and they are worthwhile. Now, since their 2001 album, they usually try to aim for the more alternative metal stuff in their radio songs and it works. Songs like Always prove that. But, unfortunately, you know, as most people, as, as is probably known... When you slow things down, the the overall turbulence and the momentum slows down also, which is not a bad thing as long as you know how to do it. But uh, you know, if there's seven songs that are slowed down and three songs that aren't, you know, most people, in my opinion, wind up wanting the rougher things when there's too much slow so but they do do it but unfortunately this album was really cut short pretty quickly this album came out in late 2008 and by the first few months of 2009 it had wrapped up and the whole thing there was yeah that third single was going to be southern girls but they you know i i couldn't have seen that song doing that well it was just a little bit too southern fried and uh so yeah i mean family reunion to talk about the single some this one is really off key for a first single and it happens to it, 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 it just is not as loud and abrasive. I, I guess uh, Saliva was getting tired of doing the same format of rough first single, soft second single, and then kind of like a mid-tempo third one if they make it to that, which, you know, obviously, you know, Trapped has followed this formula. Alien Ant Farm has followed this formula. I think even in some cases Disturbed and Mudvayne have followed this formula. It gets formulaic and I'm glad that the first radio song off of Cinco Diablo was not... I mean, I would have preferred the second one to be that way, but it's still a, a fair song. And then How Could You is kind of hazy and just... To me, it feels disarrayed, but I know the I know the true message of the song was to just be more kind of thought out and more kind of thought provoking. But I still wound up liking it. I think I could see myself listening to it. So songs you need to hear. I'll list the six. There's only ten songs on here. So that lets you know, you know, you're going to get what you get and there's not really that much room for, uh, there's really not that, there's not that much room for Dilly Dally. So the six songs are Family Reunion, My Own Worst Enemy, Best of Me, Hunt You Down. Those, those are really the only four songs I appreciated. And then the two songs I was on the fence about was Judgment Day and How Could You. So I discussed Family Reunion. I think if you're just looking for familiar songs, that is quite, that one's not bad to go for. Best of Me and My Own Worst Enemy are two of the best songs on here. And they're not really vicious like something you expect from Slipknot or Mudvayne, but I think Saliva can rock pretty hard. And they do prove that. Hunt You Down. I looked up some information. Apparently the WWE, the wrestling stuff, appreciates this song. So you may have heard that if you know them. And that one, you hear more of the drums and guitars in it. And I think that, you know, that I kind of forgot about such songs. So it's good. Judgment Day is another rock. That one's kind of heavy, but... 
I did not, I mean, that one's just going to take a little bit more getting used to, but it is another hard rock song. And then I explain how could you. So this album is going to get a six and a, or a six out of 10. The social score, I will give a four out of 10 because it only had two songs that charted and really there's just not enough momentum. I feel like I don't think the thought-provoking song should be the second single. I think it should be like the third and possibly the fourth. I mean, if you follow the greatest rock albums formulas, that's what they do. And so that was really the only problem. This album is just really kind of, it, it just doesn't have a lot of stamina. That's really the whole thing about it. You You get the hit song you want, you get a, potential second song and then it vanishes into thin air and you know really only about half the album really contends as far as heaters so but I think you know they have dropped quite a few albums so it's not as if they don't have a catalog they do have a greatest hits album which I want to get a hold of so can this record be topped I think the answer is yeah, I think they probably should have put 12 songs on here and uh, pushed the album a bit more. I know I always say this, but the whole thing is, is if, I mean, it's not so much that the songs are not on here. It's just the fact that what it, for whatever reason, this just did not happen. And, you know, it's just like I explained with, you know, not making the, the more thought-provoking song second, you know, and if you're going to do that, you got to build back the steam to keep people who are not in the same mindset. You know, I just don't think that there's a universal mindset with these sorts of things, but I'm not trying to preach advice. That's how I see it. But so the future saliva, I think dropped an album not too long ago. I forget when, but it's been since around 2014. So Subscribe for more fun.